Albany, a newly released transcript of an 11-hour interview with the New York Governor Andrew Cuomo in July provides a window into the combative back and forth with state-appointed investigators tasked with looking into his alleged sexual harassment. New York Attorney General Letitia James on Wednesday publicly released thousands of pages of transcripts from interviews with Cuomo and his accusers, three months after issuing a report concluding the Democratic governor harassed 11 women. The report ultimately helped push Cuomo out of office. He stepped down August 23. James, a Democrat who is now running for governor herself, had previously declined to release the transcripts while several district attorneys investigated Cuomo for potentially criminal behavior. But with the Albany County Sheriff's Office filing a misdemeanor criminal complaint against Cuomo late last month, District Attorney David Suarez's office is now required to turn over the transcripts and evidence to Cuomo in a timely fashion. That led James to release the transcripts publicly Wednesday, with further evidence released on a rolling basis in the future, according to her office. Transcripts lay out separate versions of events from Cuomo and his accusers, which include nine state employees. Among the transcripts is a sworn interview with Brittany Gomiso, 33, an executive assistant whose claim that Cuomo wrote her under her blouse as a basis for the pending criminal complaint. The interviews were conducted by June Kim and Ann Clark a pair of private attorneys appointed by James to lead the investigation, which Cuomo himself requested in March after multiple women came forward with harassment allegations. Over the course of 515 pages, the transcript of Cuomo's July 17th interview lays out a tense, 11-hour session that saw the governor, a former attorney general, debate the meaning of words and phrases with the law in early law. At times, he aggressively questioned the independence of the interviewers, Noting Kim was a deputy to former U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara, who previously investigated Cuomo's administration and led the prosecution of Joseph Prococo, the governor's one-time top aide and close personal friend. I mean, 